Hello everybody, what's up? In this video, we'll debunk if RGB lights in your gaming computer actually boost performance. So if you guys want to find out, continue watching this video. Almost any gaming computer that exists in this world has RGB lights. If yours doesn't have one, how can you call your computer a gaming computer? It's a well-known fact that RGB lights boost performance not only in terms of gaming FPS, but also you as a gamer. More lights, more better, am I right? We'll be testing three games, Cyberpunk 2077, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Without further ado, let's head straight to the result. Let's first take a look at the stock performance of the computer without the RGB. So we have a baseline of the performance. Then after, we'll look at the performance increase with the RGB on. Cyberpunk 2077 is running with an average FPS of around 52. That's not bad considering we're running it at high settings. Though it's still not 60 FPS average, we are putting our targets at. Let's turn on the RGB and see if it'll boost the frames. And would you look at that? Is anyone even surprised? We went from 52 FPS average to 63. That's 11 FPS more just by adding lights to our computer. Computer components love light. They perform way better. The more, the merrier. Maybe you're saying it's just one game. It's just an outlier. Well, let's take a look at the performance of this computer with the Shadow of the Tomb Raider. As you can see, without RGB, our computer is capable of delivering a respectable 63 FPS average. That's pretty good result. This game has some pretty good visuals even if it was released back in 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Now, let's see how it performs with RGB on. And wow, just wow, I almost can't talk. Am I seeing this right? 81 FPS average, that's a huge boost in performance guys. I cannot believe my eyes. I knew it boosted performance but not by this much. Adding RGB really boosts your performance in a huge way. It's like you're getting a newer, more powerful GPU. And if you're not convinced yet, let's take a look at one more game, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. It's running pretty well at around 235 FPS average. That's an amazing result. Definitely super playable with these kinds of frames. If I suck at this game, then it's my fault and not my PC. Well, I guess I can't blame my computer when I miss my shots anymore. Well, I can still blame my terrible internet though. Let's turn on the RGB lights and see how the performance is increased. Ooh la la guys, mamma mia. We went from having 235 FPS average up to 312. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting this really. This is probably why when I bought a new computer with lights, the performance just drastically changed. Before, my computer has zero RGB and it was just... It was just terrible. I'm lost for words. If this doesn't convince you yet, then I don't know what will, really. Now, let's put them side by side to see the difference better in terms of performance. Enjoy! So, what did we learn in this video guys? Well, to always look at the date in which the video is published. April Fools guys, did I get ya? Well, I think not. 
I'm not good with acting, and more experienced PC builders already knew this video was an April Fool's joke. If I fooled someone, listen carefully. RGB lights doesn't affect your gaming performance, it's purely aesthetic. Yes, I said it. You can have an all non-RGB computer that performs just as well as an RGB computer. It all depends on the components your computer is built. An RTX 3060 with RGB will never beat an RTX 3090 without RGB. RGB doesn't do anything for performance, it's all for aesthetic purposes. You might be wondering how I am able to get different results with the same GPU. Well, it was really easy. I just used AMD software and just put minus 30% to the frequency of the card. Thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate your support. So, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Subscribe to not miss upcoming videos. If you have questions, suggestions, or anything, just type it in the comments. I will reply when possible. Share this video if you think someone you know would want to see it. I appreciate all of you viewers of this channel. Take care and see you next time. Bye.